Okay, so in this video, we're going to continue where we left off, where we were solving equations uh, numerically, right? So if you'll notice, my output here is equal to 10 minus 2x. So if I say 10 minus 2x equals 10, what I'm basically saying is y equals 10, find x, right? What value of x will give me 10? So if I know y is equal to 10, well, then the answer here would be x equals 0. And that makes sense. If I put in 0 here for x, I'm left with 10 equals 10, right? Because negative 2 times 0 is 0. Okay? Hopefully that makes sense. Let's take a look at another one. Letter B. Okay, so what value of x will result in a y value of 2, right? y is equal to 2. So I look for y equals 2, and I see I get x is 4. So the answer here is x equals 4, right? So that's not bad. But again, you could do this by hand by subtracting 10 from both sides and then dividing by negative 2, um, or you could just use the table. Let's take a look at 1 below. Okay, here we go. You know what? I'm going to try to do full screen, make it a little bigger. Oh, maybe not. Okay, so... Now, all of a sudden, we have a change. Uh, f of x is equal to 2x minus 4. So they're telling me when y is negative 2, what is the value of x? So here's negative 2. The value of x would be x equals 1. When y is equal to 0, x is equal to 2. Here's one where we have to estimate, right? Because negative 5 is not on my table. But negative 5 is somewhere between negative 6 and negative 4. So my answer for x will be somewhere in between negative 1 and 0. So you could actually write uh, x is between uh, negative 1 and 0, negative 1 and 0. Or you could just simply write x equals uh, negative 0.5, right? If you want to just guess, put it right in the middle. But I, I would accept either of these answers, okay? Let's take a look at the next page. On the next page, it says, okay, can we use symbolic techniques to find f of x when we're given x? Or can we use symbolic techniques to find x when we're given f of x? All right, so that sounds confusing. If you look at this example, here they're giving you uh, x. They're telling you that x is equal to 2. So if I'm looking at this equation and I know x equals 2, I can just rewrite this as uh, f of negative 2, I'm sorry, f of 2 is equal to 5 minus 4 times 2. You see what I did there? I replaced the x with the 2. So f of 2 would be equal to 5 minus 8, which equals negative 3, right? So f of 2 is equal to negative 3, all right? All we did was we replaced x with what was inside the parentheses, all right? I'm going to erase all this and do the next one. So maybe you want to pause the video if you want to copy this down. Okay, so if we look at letter B, now they're telling me that x is equal to negative 2. So if I want to find f of negative 2, I replace my x with negative 2. So this looks like, what, 5 minus 4 times negative 2, so that becomes a positive. So uh, 5 plus 8 is 13. So f of negative 2 is equal, whoops, is equal to 13. Okay, and that would be your final answer. Now, the next problems, they, they switch things up on us here, right? If you look at letter C, we don't know what x is, right? It says find x. We don't know the value of x, but we know the value of f of x, right? In this case, they're telling me it's equal to 1, right? So I can replace f of x with 1, and write 5 minus 4x, right? Again, the 5 minus 4x is coming from up here, right? So if I subtract 5 from both sides, 
I get negative 4 equals negative 4x. I'll rewrite that over here. Negative 4 equals negative 4x. Divide both sides by negative 4 to get 1 equals x. And that would be my final answer. Okay? These are good problems. Definitely you want to practice a few of these. Okay? Let's move to the next page. I'd like you to try a couple of these. Maybe pause the video and try to do some of these problems on your own. Again, the answers are on the back of the book. Uh, I'll work out maybe two of these. So we have 2x minus 4 is equal to f of x. So they're telling me x is equal to 2. So f of 2 is equal to 2. I replace my x with 2. And I end up with f of 2 equals 4 minus 4, which equals 0. So it says find f of 2. We know f of 2 is equal to 0. Okay. Now, for letter C, we don't know x, right? Notice how C and D, the instructions are find x, whereas the instructions for A and B are find f of 2, find f of 0. So here, we, now letter C, we don't know x, but we know f of x equals negative 4, right? So if this is f of x, and we know f of x is equal to negative 4, I can place a 4 here and set it equal to 2x minus 4, right? So negative 4 equals 2x minus 4. So if I add 4 to both sides, I end up with 0 equals 2x. And if I divide both sides by 2, I get 0 equals x. Okay. Uh, and then let's just do one more. I'm going to erase this. So if you want to pause and uh, copy, that's fine. Okay, last one here. Um, it says find x if f of x equals negative 5. So again, I'm just going to rewrite this equation down here, but I'm replacing f of x with negative 5, and that's going to equal 2x minus 4. I add 4 to both sides to get negative 1 equals 2x. Divide by 2, and you get x equals negative 1 half. That's my final answer, right? So again, the difference between A and B, A and B, you're looking for your given X, right? X in this case was equal to 2. X in this case was 0. Letters C and D, we don't know X. The instructions are find X, right? But we know your Y or your F of X, okay? Let's keep moving. Actually, I'm going to stop the video here because the next thing we're going to do is solve equations graphically. So remember, we learned to solve equations symbolically, numerically, that was the table, and then the last part will be graphically. Thank you for watching.